Okay, hello. Welcome to the fourth episode of the Late Night Catch. It's it's what a, up? Yeah. Hi. My microphone works. Yeah, it does. Ben yeah. uh <laughs> Ben remembered to unmute his mic this time. I <laughs> it's been a almost week. forgot. It's been, I it's did been a big have week. about a, five minutes of a conversation without realizing my microphone was muted while we were getting ready, but <laughs> I we think it's just because you guys don't talk to me. We don't, don't want like a repeat me. of last week. <laughs> <laughs> what were you saying, Paul? It is. It has been a big week. Big fucking Medea week. Goddamn. Big week. Lots of stuff. Uh, lots oh, of I stuff that we didn't do because again. we just fish. <laughs> I did something true. today. What did you do? I got me four fail stacks trying to upgrade my weapon to 14. You got to how many? 44. 44? Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, God. The 14? <laughs> Didn't Paul get it like 22 or something to get the 15? 28. Yeah, but Will oh, just probably yeah. has shit luck, dude. Yeah. Shit luck, yeah, bro. I'm, but I'm just going to force it every time now. It's not like I have to pay a whole bunch to restore a fucking <laughs> area X. At least some good came of it. Yeah, true. Yeah, that's right. I combined my witch's earrings. Did it work? Successfully? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Nice. Damn, that's crazy. Good job, dude. Proud of you. Um, okay, so uh, <laughs> we we did a lot of you, you well, mostly Paul and uh, Will. I think did a lot of testing this week, huh? Yeah. yeah. Well, did you guys make some spreadsheets. No. Get some numbers. I've yeah, been, we, we crunched it. Uh, we was in close contact with my accountants and my legal team. <laughs> uh -huh. My. Uh, my science, my science campus. Our R and D, Bill Murray R and D division. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, we work you, closely with NASA and Jet Propulsion Labs. We keep all the R and D interns in that shack directly behind us. They don't get to partake in the episode. And they all share a block. Yeah. <laughs> just, just one. The funny thing is, we have this big R and D department, but Paul and I still have to share a cubicle. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we share a laptop and a keyboard, but we have two mice. Dude, at least and the it... same hang in there poster with the cat hanging onto the laundry line. <laughs> at least if you guys go out to the convenience store, you can share your chips. And make I don't carpool. share my chips. We, actually... <laughs> we ride a tandem bike to work. <laughs> ben, Ben, stop putting energy into cast. You're mocking our data. 99 energy. I, this will be the second time I've done it. Or I've, I've done it. I've done it. You're making a mockery of us. And guys, instead yeah, of I'm going to get another Lego. Instead of doing what Ben just did, you should put that energy into nodes. Nah. Benjamin. Nah. Okay, let's... I let's... got a Hex Sanctuary at level 5, and I have 5 luck, and I've put about 8 hours of grinding. No earring. Dude, some people put, like, days yeah. into that place. I think I'm over 8 hours now, and I don't have 5 luck. I have 4. Yeah, but mine's also at tier five, and I haven't gotten an earring yet. Get a just get another gem, dude. Uh, I'm busy fishing. <laughs> yeah, about, I... Speaking of fishing, so yeah. Speaking of which, let's talk about right. that Madeira rod that y'all asked about. Right, we uh, big shocker mm -hmm. coming up. We we were asked by some of the viewers last week to test the Madeira rod, and. Will was just so eager to finally be able to dump some of his hard-earned money. I really into, was into rods. He was just so he was so ready for this adventure. So I'm gonna let him do that, and I'll talk about harpooning. Okay, do it. Well, you see, much like trying to to dry out your laundry during a hurricane, <laughs> a deer rod is very ineffectual. And did, did you get a legendary just now? No, I got a blue. Is ineffectual a word? <laughs> yes. Oh my, or is it ineffective? You're ineffective. Oh. Shut up. Tell me about the numbers. Dude, I'm just being grammar, grammar Nazi. Continue, please. <laughs> oh, I'm just going to Google it. Yeah. Ineffectual. <laughs> oh, it is a word. Okay. <laughs> We're very high brow here. We have to Google the words we use. Oh, wow. My life doesn't have spell checks. Now so. I'm second guessing my vocabulary. Continue, Will. Continue with your data. Uh, in all seriousness, you know, tried rods for a couple days. 
And in addition to having to spend a ton of money on bailing those fishing rods, I caught no yeah. coelacanths in, in, or bail no special the food, whatever it is. Oh, yeah, because you need to you, yeah, use fishing to skill. Yeah, plus two fishing skill. I caught no coelacanths in a couple days, which is odd. And then found out that there's a reason that there's like a hundred of them on the auction house. So the like 900,000 that I paid for it when I got them was dropped to like 788k or something now. So it's just, it's, you know, it's just like a used car dealership. <laughs> yeah. Well, does the rod only increase your chances to get Celia cans, or does it just increase it's your chances? It fish? has the same text as a maple float. Yeah, yeah. Okay. it's just rare fish. So I think it technically and does the same thing. To put a comparison into it, uh, in terms of coelacanths, I have caught eight coelacanths in the last seven days. Without using a, a steel rod. rod. Yeah. And Usually I catch at least one a day. It, it's pretty standard at the spot that we're at right now. We get about a coelacanth a day. And it almost seems like the floats and the Medea rods worsen your chance to catch them. <laughs> they do. It, the Medea rod problem is twofold in that that bonus you get from the steel rod where it says it increases your chance of catching better quality fish or good fish. I can't remember exactly how it's worded. I mean, I could look, but I'm just way too lazy to hit I right now. Even though I just googled ineffectual. <laughs> but... <laughs> Life is uh, full of small concessions. <laughs> yes. Yes. Little compromises. Um, I actually got more whites and greens instead of blues. I got the, about the same amount of, of yellows with the Medea rod, but got a lot more whites and greens. Really lame. So yeah, moral. Do of you the have story. any actual numbers like behind that or? I do. I mean, I could pull them up if, if we actually want to post them. I, <laughs> Maybe I think something. Just we can say for pretty certain that after over a thousand casts with it and not catching a coelacanth is pretty standard correlation to its dog shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it's I just, really wasn't right. surprised. It just sounds like it's not worth it to buy in the first place. Uh, it's not. It's, it, it is not. If we, nothing else, it's not going to be worth the return on the investment. You can get a steel rod for what forty five k. Oh yeah. Well, or get it, like a fuck it's not just that. It, um, it's in fact an entire waste of any money that you spend on it. Right, because you don't get another it's fishing level either. Yeah. It's the same thing with floats. It is. It's just pointless to buy them. There is a. Th Will mentioned this earlier. There is a, a thread on Reddit where. A guy was supposedly clearing up misconceptions about fishing, and he's literally just spewing a bunch of garbage <laughs> of shit that we've actually Ow. put well, weeks of testing into. I think some of the stuff was true, but that's just like common truths. But I, I, I don't, I didn't actually read the post that's being mentioned right now. But like the the rod thing, I, th I think he, someone said that he mentioned that. Like Medea rods and a float give you a fuck ton of yellows, right? And that's no. damn. Uh, at least from what we've all seen, totally not the true. Author of the thread mentioned it. There was a highly rated comment that was like, "Oh, I have a plus something Medea rod and a plus something maple float, and I catch this many legendaries." And I could see how tricky that wording is, where it says rare fish, and you're thinking in your mind like, "Okay." You know, fucking greens are rarer than trash items. Yeah. When yeah. you're looking at a non hotspot area. But it, it doesn't increase your chance at all for catching a yellow or, or blue or green or white or anything that's not a broken hook or a broken net. Just see, like, well, not see, like, it's a fair fish. I can see. There's just a yeah. lot of uh, misinformation out there. And it, do it, our best the, to clear it up. The, the wording on 
some of this fishing equipment is very misleading. Yeah. And yeah. Like, totally. It, it spooked us. You know, it pranked us at the start. <laughs> uh, we put a, a lot of our initial investment uh, growing up in this game into buying cool fishing stuff, and it all backfired. Yep. And we really cool. All those black stones you wasted, you could probably have like plus six on one of your armor pieces by right now. Or more. I'm just so passionate about steel rods. Steel rods just never let me down. Well, yeah, yeah, really, like, we need to set the tone here. Steel rod, and then suit AT, and if you need more fishing skill, there's fruit wine or the bale nose special if you need two. Yeah, that should be, like, That's all you it, need, like, though. That's, like, it. Fishing clothes, sweet. Get them if you can. They're not that expensive. Oh, yeah. They even get the, the tier one version, the... the you know, unenhanced one, mm -hmm. but you know, Medea rod, floats, all that stuff is just fucking trash. It's it's not <laughs> worth. It's scam. It's because there's a group of developers. Caps. Not worth. Not worth. Not worth. Yeah, there's a group of developers sitting up there somewhere saying, you know what? Let's. How many noob traps can we put into this one small faucet of gameplay? <laughs> you think? You think that's what they're doing? They're... I know that. Yeah, Why that's not fishing is their prank completely. on us. Also, speaking of that thread that we brought up earlier and threw some shade at. Yeah. Hey, fishing. Bailnose rod will not do anything for you. It is a waste again. It's I think the unenhanced one starts at 10% reduction in AFK fish time. Right. But right. you will catch more fish with the steel rod before it breaks. And... It's that it actually gives you bonus fishing skill on top of that. So I mean, if you really want to, you can go with an Aperian rod if you're going to be AFK fishing like overnight. Right. But and in any application, steel rod is just the best, and just a steel rod, not a float, and a steel rod, just a steel rod. And some of the good treats. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, <clears throat> let's cool it down. Let's fucking let's cool that shit off. I'm hot. We got real hot right now. We need to... When we talk about this gear, I get real hot. Talk about that gear, dude. Um, okay, how is everyone's just fucking weak in Black Desert? The fuck did you guys do? I already know Will's answer. Uh, just don't even. <laughs> just don't well, even you know, do it. <laughs> out, outside of Black Desert, I gotta give a big shout out that baseball's back. I love baseball. Basic, basically, during the day. Uh, my life consists of AFK fishing and watching baseball now. <laughs> what was your favorite game this week? Uh, well, baseball started yesterday. Yeah, so. So oh. I guess my favorite game would be right now, the Diamondbacks are up on the Rockies. But we lost our opening day game yesterday. That's all oh. good. I think Paul's what the only one who follows. I think Paul's the only one who follows rolled. sports in our group. <laughs> I just had I I watch had to watch football. I think it's baseball boring. This really, guys, viewers, friends, colleagues. Yes. <laughs> ben owns a Tom Brady jersey. Uh huh. I do. If you don't do already hate jersey. Ben, what does that mean? You now have a 100% merited reason to loathe him. <laughs> so, Jimmy, Tom Brady is a quarterback for uh -huh. the New England Patriots. I have heard the name, I guess. He's yes. a cheater and a scumbag. He's got four Super Bowl rings. Uh huh. Cheat to win? Did he cheat to win? If you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. Did he use it? Anyway. Did he use it? Anyway, mod? yes. Did, did, yeah, okay. he use, did he use no, 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 no. No, we don't need to talk about Tom Brady. <laughs> you know? Stop talking about sports. Okay. I would, I would watch football. There's just too many innings. <laughs> Do my favorite. Uh, that. That's not even worth a response. I hate you. <laughs> no. I love it. I love it when they have a face off, it. though. So, <laughs> get fucking get back out to of the, town. Back Will. to the seas. Um, back to the seas. What did I like how this episode it? is just us trying to annoy each other as much as possible. This is great. Let's see. What did what did I do in Black Desert this week? Well, I got to fifty last week. Fucking finally. Fucking interrupt. Good job, dude. What you did? Hey, hey, hey. You guys weren't saying anything. I was about to. Well, he was about to. Fucking now you're not, dude. But it's okay, you know. How, how was how was your week? I was just I was just talking. I was gonna say how we had our friendly grinding session at the abandoned monastery and got nothing. 
We and, did, but it was you a, know, it was a great time. It it takes a lot of farming at those spots. <laughs> yeah, it's a good it does. drop. I, we have we have no room to complain after only farming there for two hours. Yeah, yeah. that's very true. Um, oh, one thing one thing I do want to say: if if you're like at forty nine and you have the daunting. And I guess it's not really daunting after you get to 50, but the task of getting from 49 to 50, like, it's significantly slower. I would suggest it's, if it's you can. Not. Yeah. No, it's not. No, it's not. 35 minutes it, at the cabin. It, it, you suck ass. 49 to 50? <laughs> you were just grinding. 49 slow. to 50. Yeah, yeah I was, dude, I was at You're a just really bad. I was at a shitty. I was, at, I was at the catfish, and then I went to the abandoned monastery, and it was like, boom, fucking there, and like. 20 minutes is great. I and mean, we were group grinding. Yeah. But well, yeah, yeah. Grinding's, cool. grinding's solo. Abandoned Monastery like, is do... where the Mark of Shadow drop. Yeah. Also, a lot of good actual EXP. It's a really good spot to grind EXP over 50 because... I'm pretty I mean, sure the Medea zones are probably better now. Yeah, but, but they're this hard. Point. Like you, un Unless you're really, really well geared, you need to be 53-ish. Really? But, like they're tough. Like uh, Bacon went out there and he got one shot. Oh damn! He's fifty one. I thought that was just like talking about the pirates or whatever. What? Like the high end farming stuff out in Medea. The pirates are like fifty six to sixty or whatever. No, oh, I, I was trying to do the like the daily quest out yeah, there. Yeah, I, oh. I don't know exactly what he was fighting, but it's a, it. Regardless, it's a good spot to grind. You get a lot of exp. Uh, bunch of mobs. Mobs are a little tough and. They drop Mars Shadow, so yes. you get lucky. Uh, oh, I, you get paid. Theoretically, they drop them. Sweet bonus. Um, um, what were you going to talk about? I was going to talk about harpooning and deep sea fishing. Oh yeah. We had another person um, ask for us to test it out and look into it, which also um, we love it when you guys do that. You know, if you guys have any questions or anything you want us to look into, keep them coming. You know, we're gonna do it. Yes, please. And uh, you know, it might not necessarily be the next episode, but we'll try. To. We read all your guys' comments. Uh, we take it all to heart, and we'll we'll get to it no matter what. Yep. But I put some time in harpooning, and as a pretense to deep sea fishing and harpooning, you can make uh, thick harpoons on Ilya Island. You only need. Uh, Numbers four dash two and four dash one on Ilya Island. It's only four contribution points. You only need those two. You need just the one for uh, the tool workshop, and then you need one for lodging. Mm. And you can make the thick harpoons there, uh, blue quality, like steel fishing rods and stuff. They have forty durability. Really in effect, uh, inexpensive to make. Two cedar timber, seven iron ingots, three yeah. black stone powder takes 40 minutes to make them so if it's something that you really want to do that's where you're going to be making your harpoons word but as for it actually goes is as you might know and we might have meant i think we'd mentioned it in a previous episode um you cannot harpoon at or near a regular fishing hotspot. you will not catch anything and another thing that bugs me a little bit about harpooning is when you won't catch anything, it won't tell you. You'll just sit there, just sit there waiting right? to catch something for eternity. Ugh. So, so there's no AFK get, harpooning. There's not. No. You cannot AFK harpoon fish. Well, as for it being so like you, worth it or not, though, what do you think? Um, so I put, I did four harpoons worth. So I don't have a terrible uh, amount of testing, but I tried a bunch of different areas, um, just away from Ilya Island because anything near Ilya Island is exhausted and just sucks to fish at. Don't go there. <laughs> um, the mini game for harpooning is cool. Um, it's different than regular fishing. You know, if you want to go do it for a little bit, it could it could be a cool, fun little change of pace fishing wise. But Don't you have to be professional to even harpoon? Yeah, you do. Professional okay. one. It also but, gives you a harpoon when you get to professional one. But well, yeah, because I have my harpoon. Yeah, yeah professional. Um, it's a it's a bit of a prank because <laughs> harpoon fishing seems sweet because it takes less time 
not considerably less, but it takes a little bit of less time to hook a fish yeah. to start the mini game. However, the harpooning mini game itself takes like 30 seconds. That's so if you're it, banging it out real yeah. quick. Right. You have 15 harpoons and you have to hit the fish 10 times to catch it. But yeah, you, you only actually have like a certain amount of time to do it, right? But yeah. it, you, you'll you get it in the allotted amount of time, Yeah. but it's pretty much going to take you 30 seconds or so each time. And that kind of, it made it feel really, really, really grindy, mm -hmm. ha having to be there watching the catches and then doing this mini game that's not hard at all. It's, it's, it's just, super easy, you just click but on it. It just, you, you, you know, aim and you hit space bar. Yeah. Yeah. You have to so, put your sort of like somewhat near um, the the little fish icon thing, but and you just hit space. It's not challenging. It's not like an FPS at all. Yeah, <laughs> it it Which it is got really grindy really quick, and I got burnt out of it. I had like one harpoon in, but I did three more just to try to get some testing. Mm -hmm. um, as far as it's worth it. For, for me, for the spots that I went, it was not. Um, did you get I'm any sure of those? I'm sure there are. I did. I caught two whales. Right. But they're, uh, they're like, they're like I, what? Like 120 to 1,000 something? Each? Yeah, let's say because they're, they're 45,000. 45,000? I caught two hammer whales. Hmm. They're 45,000. Yeah. Then I caught a few blues. Right. I caught a but few sailfish. They're few that and were 45,000 a pop as well. But other than that, other than those 45k fish, you're just catching regular greens and regular whites. And money-wise, it's not worth it. You don't get any extra fishing EXP. You don't you don't level up faster from harpoon fishing. Right. Um, it, if you found a spot that I guess you could quote unquote compare to a hot spot for harpooning, I, I very well think it may be worth it. You just need to be in a spot where you're catching a lot of blues and a lot of yellows. Yeah. And I haven't found it. I wonder if those even yet. exist. Well, that's what I was going to ask. Is there even like confirmation that there's quote unquote hot spots for harpooning? I, there, there could be. There could be. There, but there could be. I haven't found any information yeah, on them. Same. I've never read anything that states that. Well, I mean, but, because I'm unprepared, I tried to just look for information for deep sea fishing online, and there's like not even a video. Yeah, how? Because there's nothing. It, it's a little. It's still a little unknown, and we're gonna continue. You know, we'll we'll do a little bit, and you know, I'll keep hunting for spots. Um, I seem to have pretty good luck tripping over hot spots. We'll get to that in a few minutes as well. Oh yeah. <laughs> but all in all, unless you're rain man of black desert and you have a, a deep sea hot spot that no one else knows about stick stick to a regular fishing hot spot stick to your normal spots you're gonna make more money level up faster there if you want a change you know try it out it's fun for a little bit you might not burn out on it as fast as i do but that's my personal opinion on it i have a question for any viewers who might know like, I know that the triple float things are now in this game, uh, as of the Medea patch, I believe. I've seen them on the auction house, so I know, or marketplace, cause I know, so I know they're in here. But like, I know Will has tried and I've tried to actually get like the quest started that gives you those rods. I believe it gives you three as a reward. And we've had like no luck in actually getting it started. If anyone like knows about that, please. Please tell us. If you know if there's any precursor quests yeah, that something we're missing. trigger it. Because we tried to do there all is, the ones... It's, we tried to do all the ones that were on the black... God damn it. We tried, <laughs> <laughs> I can't see you. I don't know when you're going to speak. Um, hey, let me finish. So we, <laughs> we we did all the... We tried to find the quests that were on the Black Desert database that, like, say start them. But, yeah, obviously we couldn't, like, find that. It didn't work, so... If anyone has had any luck, then we can test them for you and see if they're fucking awesome. It seems like they're awesome if you don't know what they well, are. Yeah. It's just like a triple float rod and there's a chance of catching up to three fish. I don't think it gives you that every time. I think it's a chance of getting one to three. 
Yeah, Got it. it's it's one to three fish, mm -hmm. and each has its own independent chance of, of being a you know trash item like green, yeah. blue, yellow, whatever. Yeah, totally. So that could be cool. I'd love to try that. Just have no fucking idea how to get one, <laughs> other than buying it. But there's been like only three posted, I think. Since how expensive are they? They're not expensive. I think I think they're only about two hundred thousand. I could be totally wrong. I haven't looked in a while, but either way, they were only like a, a couple, a couple thousand silvers. Nothing crazy. Nothing bananas. All right, so we found another hot spot similar to the one we released in our second episode. It's an inland one, but uh, and Paul found it. Very accidental. Um, <laughs> Like any real fisherman, and you do not get to call yourself a fisherman in Black Desert unless you do this. And no matter where I go, I always carry one steel rod on me. I never leave a city without one. <laughs> and I was out questing, and spot looked cool, decided to cast, gave it two different locations. Second spot I cast, I was at a hot spot. So this hot spot is literally in Trent. We'll yep. throw up a screenshot here. Can confirm. And it is just there's a rock in the middle of the pond that is connected to the right side of Trent. You get on that rock and you cast in that direction and there's a hot spot right there. Yep. It It's the same thing. call it a hot spot so much as like a warm spot. Yeah, it, it's it's very similar to the northern wheat plantation spot. Well, it's an Here's inland hotspot. It's the same spot. fish. Yeah, it's an inland hotspot. What's cool about it is you can literally see a trader and a warehouse manager from the spot. It's that <laughs> close. Yeah, you can. So that was a cool little thing to stumble upon, and obviously I'm going to keep carrying my trusty rod with me and... Keep yeah. tripping over hot spots find, to share with you find guys. Find more of them, please. Yeah, I guess so that would be a good idea if you just wanted to trade, like, getting a lot of rares, yellows and blues, for the sake of convenience of possibly making, if just as much, if not more, the amount of money. I guess depending on your luck. <laughs> fast money. Fast yeah. money. We're playing it's, fast. it's fast money. There we go. I got my second legendary in this video already. Really? And Fuck another you, thing that we all did this week <laughs> is... Since James finally hit 50, yeah. we finally got to go and use all of our damn squirrel bosses. Yep. And collect all of our free loot. Yep. And while we were in the middle of farming out all of these scroll bosses we had saved up, Ben had a scroll and we all gathered out and went to it. And this was after we were doing Relic Crystal Shard scrolls. <laughs> and. Ben's like, all right, guys, this one's uh, different. It's going to be a little harder. Make sure you pot up. <laughs> it was the Fearful Witch. It's supposed to be a right two. It was the first one we've done. So, so this is what happened. So we probably did 15 or 20 red noses. And then we went to the Relic boss. And I swear to God, we did closer to 40. Yes, we did, a, we did a, a few. I mean, everyone, I think, except for Jimmy, had at least five scrolls. OK, so I guess that was more like we probably did about 30 relics and probably about 15. Well, we did 37 relics. Yeah, we did a lot, dude. We did a <laughs> oh, lot. Shut up. Just shut up. Specific numbers. Ignore them. Yeah. So anyway, so we do all this and then we were finally like, all right, well, we're zombies now. So let's do some of our tier two ones because <laughs> maybe that'll be fun. And it'll be hard. So we were done with the relic scroll boss and we were right by the fearful witch summoning scroll or so I thought. And I was like, hey, guys, let's go do this. And we get there, I'm like, all right, guys, get your pots and everything ready, and let's go ahead and do this. And it turns out it was just the one it's, from my black it's be tough. spirit, and we instantly killed it. We instantly <laughs> killed it. That'll be really difficult, guys. <laughs> it's bond, it's bond smashed, bonded died. Didn't realize that, bitch, dude. that that particular scroll was a soloable one, and uh, <laughs> yeah. It, yeah. It, we had we had a good laugh about <laughs> Pretty it. Pretty fun. Like, oh, Ben, it's really fucking hard, dude. Yeah. <laughs> this led to about seven days of being told to pot up every time I talk to you guys. It's pretty cool. <laughs> it, it, won't, hue, hue, it won't hue. stop. Jaw, 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 jaw. Um, but yeah, that was cool. We finally got to do squirrel bosses. Yeah. They're not they're really, too hard. No. They're nothing to be afraid uh, of. You don't even have to be, like, super well geared. You just need a group of five, I think. Oh, God, no, you don't have to be super well geared. Yeah, no. <laughs> fucking N-O. The tree spirit and the monastery leader were 
probably the toughest of the ones that we did. Yeah. If you're, you're just, if you're just you're careful, a ranger, you can be naked. Yeah. <laughs> just if you're a warrior, remember to hit that Q button. Yeah, and also things that are becoming more and more clear to us every week as we continue playing this game is that rangers are very good. We get it, Ben. You vape. <laughs> Sorry, what you guys just aren't as big league as I am. Becomes more and more clear to me is that the developers were like, hey, remember that one guy in the office that we all hate? And that he's designing this, this sweet berserker class? Let's just shit on him with all of our boss mechanics. <laughs> Oh, uh, Will had to chug some pots. I'm and sorry, just having buddy. to, like, enter normal-sized doorways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a struggle, dude. Sort of physical limitation. You guys are, like, the minority in this game. Oh, whoa, Jimmy, let's not make this, uh, <laughs> not stuff like that. Yeah, we don't want to get too controversial. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Your edge is showing. <laughs> edgier than bismuth um since we're talking a little bit about classes i have some i guess it might, it's probably not new wisdom to any warriors but just some clarification i guess you've, you've probably read or if, if you've like watched any warrior guides the uh, a lot of the, their abilities are shit and not worth using at all and <laughs> i have now proven that point to myself definitely after Warriors kind of like clicked with me after you know playing it for a while, because well, I took you all 50 levels. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's like it's like a weirder class to play. It's not as obvious like how you do most of the damage, and the answer to that is it's like four abilities, dude. Especially for PVE, which is mostly like the stuff that we've been doing. Um, it's four abilities. You use Ground Smash. You group everyone up. You use your. Um, What's it called? It's called uh, Scars of Dusk. <laughs> uh, yeah, you do that first, and then anyone that's still alive after that, you just do Spinning Slash, and that's the answer. Once you run out of your WP, you just use Forward Slash to bring it up again. That's the most efficient way to do it. Um, you can just dodge roll, and it brings it up a little bit, but you just want to either block or use Forward Slash until you have a full bar of WP, and then you just do Spinning Slash again until everything's dead. It's, it's that simple. You, you don't use any other abilities it's probably the same case for pvp and like i was experimenting with the other abilities like um counter um the sideways slash things garbage anyway just don't even don't even put points into that don't put points into heavy heavy attack maybe in the very beginning just because there's nothing else you can use but later on you get enough um like skill resets to where you can just get rid of that shit and put those points towards like getting your ultimate spinning slash for example like, I, can, I can't stress that enough to a new warrior, like, you do not need to put points into all the abilities. The ones I'll say to max out, Spinning Slash, get Scars of Dusk, max out your Shield Strike, um, your Deep Thrust, and, Ooh. yeah, dude, incoming oh. sexual innuendos, I can feel it. Oh, God. <laughs> um, yeah, Ground Smash, I mean, dinner first, Jesus. I forget what the shift F, shift F ability is, but it's your 200% Black Spirit user. That one's also awesome. And then your passive. All of the other abilities don't even bother. Like, they're, they don't do instant critical, which is like the thing about warriors that makes them really good, like 1v1. Um, and just in damage dealing in general. They're not the best damage dealers in the game, obviously. That would probably <laughs> currently lie in the realm of Ranger, Wizard, or maybe Sorceress, I don't know. Um, yeah, sorcery like sorceresses do a lot of damage. They do a lot of damage, right? I I, I don't know yeah, much about them. I was them. having a little PvP dance with one at Hex the other night, and they they boof pretty hard. Yeah, one v one. I heard they're they're kind of brutal. I ganked that Hex. Really? No, we noodle fought for ten <laughs> minutes and then I ran away. <laughs> you noodle fought. <laughs> oh right. Okay. I how the stamp works. My apologies. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Um, all right, I'm gonna uh, bring while in... we're talking about classes, just one thing. Oh yeah, go for it. Um, I bashed on Blizzard a while. This is for Wizards, by the way. I bashed on Blizzard. Blizzard's really good. <laughs> but you probably won't use it a whole lot until you're 50, because it has a super long channel time and a super long cast time. But on like boss fights, like squirrel bosses and stuff, Yeah. It hits really hard, and it hits a lot. So, something you might not want to put points into until you're getting close to 50, and it does take a lot of 
uh, combat points to level it up, but I was mistaken about being mean to Blizzard. Blizzard is very good. <laughs> Clarified. Okay, I'm gonna bring it into the week, the grand music. Uh, let's see. This week it's gonna be Light on the Land from Nujibis. Um If you like just like calm sort of instrumental like hip hop stuff, you would love Nujibis. It's not. Uh, unfortunately, I listen to this dude all the time. Yeah, yes. yeah. Ben loves Nujibis too. Um, he's unfortunately passed away in the last few years. I believe it was a car accident, but he's amazing. Did you hear what happened the day he died? Huh. So I heard this story about like the day he died, where like he was like leaving the concert and he was like talking to somebody or whatever, mm -hmm. and he was like, he looked pretty sad. And, so, and some guy asked him, he's like, "Hey, why do you look sad?" And he's like, "Oh, I was just really bummed because that's my last concert." And he's like, "Why is that your last last concert?" And then he died that night Damn. in a car accident. No fucking way. That's so sad. Yeah, man. Well, I don't know if any of that's fucking true, but I heard it. Maybe. Yeah. Well, listen to this song. He is amazing at what he does. All right. Here you go. Hope you guys like that little little time lapse thing there. Um, so we found a cool uh, fishing website, real Black Desert related, not just fucking fishing. <laughs> uh, I, think, yes. I think Paul's gonna explain it a little bit. It is called ddfishers.com, and it's it's a new site. It's just a forum. Um, it is just gonna be a spot where people share knowledge and talk and all that stuff blah 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 like regular forum um i personally am gonna have a strong presence there uh if you guys are looking for any kind of during the week in between episodes uh that's where you'll find me answering a lot of questions and stuff uh it's a cool site uh there isn't a ton on it uh right now because like i said it is only a couple days old but there is a guy posting uh, new treasure chest locations. So that's something that you go and check out on it already. And as we get the word out, as more people find out about it, it'll pick up in uh, traffic. But it's a cool thing, and we'll be there. Yeah, we can put check some of out. our like, random fucking hot spots that we come across on there too. Yep, like, the all, the, all the hot spots that that we come across and share with you guys, we'll post on there as well. And hey, that treasure chest thing, free black stones, I guess, maybe, yeah. <laughs> if you get them. Do, do it when you got time. <sighs> look, at this, look at this fucking sunset there. Oh wait, no, this is a sunrise. This would be a sunrise, be actually. A sunrise. <laughs> it's no longer the late night catch, yeah. but the early morning cup um, of fish, I don't know. Fun. Early morning disappointment, because this spot fucking <laughs> sucks. I'm all about that. Will's got three legendaries. Dude, are you guys getting bored of this spot? Maybe we should do go to a different one. Change the scenery. Maybe you guys should fish cool. for a hot spot. Maybe we should nah. actually record at a hot spot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we then we'd be yeah. surrounded by a bunch of plebs. Savagery. Wow. 
bunch of low grade semen. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, we were all we were yeah, all low grade yes. semen at one point. Nay. In the game oh, and in real pretty life. Pretty sure Will came out as apprentice too. I hate I hate kids. I'm glad I never was one. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized, Paul, that your character looks like the saltiest sailor of all time. Yeah, dude. I he has a pretty make, I would make even the saltiest of swashbucklers blush. <laughs> <laughs> dude, you know something that's like cool? I heard that's gonna, they're gonna add in kind of soon. I don't think it's in the Korean version yet, but I think they're gonna actually add ship combat. Yeah, I read I, something about I, that. I read that. Let naval, go. naval warfare. Yeah. That. Do we can actually be pirates? Okay. Instead of just butt pirates, I mean. Will, Will and I. I'm just all about boats. Yeah, same. Will and I played Arc Age, and that was probably just one of the favorite things about that was how fucking awesomely just ships tied into that game, like trading. Mm -hmm. But then like the combat was so fucking cool, and it was really smooth uh, for the most part. <laughs> good, it was good enough. And if they added that into this game, like, dude, that just stacks onto the things that are awesome about it. We we like other things than fishing in this game. I actually think, I, like, this is probably one of the best MMOs I've played in many recent years. I don't know if you guys... Well, what do you same. have the competitors to? Like, WoW? Oh, I guess you said you played Arc Age. Yeah, well, fuck, fuck you, dude. I played, <laughs> I played Arc Age, would be the most recent one. Um... Like, Swoter. I, yeah, that. that ah, Swoter. That was a pleasure. Recent. I, pl I played like I Eve Online. That was the birth of Bill Murray. I played Eve Swoter. Online on and off. Yeah. I consider Solitaire an MMO. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Dude, what's your. Paul, fucking... didn't you play that? No, go ahead, Jim. <laughs> Don't say what? Dude, what are your fucking. <laughs> what's your card gear at, dude? What, card what, gear. What tier queens you got, bro? <laughs> I play a lot of Solitaire. I don't know why. I've just always enjoyed solitaire. So whatever. Fuck Dude, me. I've always me. been a mi minesweeper kind of guy. <laughs> minesweeper no, makes fucking, me very angry. Uh, <laughs> you gotta play that Microsoft pinball game. With the, God damn it! I got bad because I got oh, distracted. Whatever. Dude, that like brought that just brought back a really quick memory. I remember like well, it was it was weird. Like when I was a small kid, one of the first like times I stayed up all night like playing a game with a friend was when I. Cause like okay, I didn't have like a even like a decent computer like coming up as a, as a, as a child, like even though those weren't really out yet. Shut but up, the what, what was considered <laughs> what was considered shut up, dude. What was considered decent at that point didn't have it. So me and my buddy stayed up playing Microsoft Pinball to like three in the morning, which was like crazy. We're like, whoa, dude, like stay up till three. Bragged all my friends dude. the next day, like, dude, guess how fucking late I stayed up last night, dude. Drink so much, Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Don't tell my dad, dude. Don't tell my dad. <laughs> uh, I think the worst thing I ever did like that is me and my buddy, uh, when I lived in Las Vegas, played this, like, Disney Hercules, like, side-scroller game on my computer, like, what? for a month straight. I don't know. It was it was the stupid, corniest, like, you know, CD that comes out of, like, a box of cereal game. But <laughs> oh, it was legendary. I remember those. I um, was that guy that would play Oregon Trail at school and then go home and play Oregon Trail. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, we all went through that phase. Remember Line Rider? First MMO. Remember Line Rider and fucking, like, the computer lab? Oh, Line Rider, yeah. Yeah, dude. I don't fuck? think I'm familiar with that. What? You remember, like, you draw a line and you make the guy on the sled, like, go down it and he probably dies, like, 90% of the time, but sometimes you No, make, I didn't play that in the computer get, lab because I was learning. You get sweet ups. <laughs> Yeah, that's why up. I have a job, assholes. I have a job. Ben, you're not the only one with this job. I saw my body. Like, my job is fishing, dude. I'm your number one customer, Paul. Anyway. <laughs> uh, okay. I think we're gonna get the fuck out of here now. Yeah. I think so. Oh, look, yeah. we're not getting invaded on by the fucking goddamn park rangers this time. Yeah, I kind of wish that would happen again. I like them. That was so funny. <laughs> uh, we were neat dudes. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. Yeah. Always appreciate it. We'll see you next week. Uh, did I just get back-to-back -back legendaries at this piece of you shit want us spot? To I did. Into test for you. Shut up, Ben. <laughs> uh, <laughs> any creative ways you want us to yell at Ben? 
just let us know. <laughs> we'll do encouraged. it. <laughs> Alright guys, later. Peace. Later.